Good morning, guys. Today is the long-awaited Nala update. I got the little yellow dog down there. Uh, we've been working hard on her training. I've been taking it really easy on the video side of things because I want to, I mean, you guys all saw it with Cora going week by week. So taking a little bit of pressure off of myself and taking my time with Nala and we're really seeing a lot of good things. Now that the camera's out, who knows what's gonna happen because that's a thing. Like if you take your camera out to show everybody how good your dog is doing, the dog kind of really humble you. But she's doing good with her training. We're working through basic obedience. And so we've got sit, stay, sit, stay, place, extended place, center place, heel work, and recall. And there's probably a few other things that we've worked on too, but that, those are the main things. And we've done a little bit of early retrieving. So today I want to kind of show you guys where we're at in the cornerstone program and uh, give you guys kind of a general idea of what this four month old pup is up to. She's a lot of fun. She, she's just, she's so different from Cora. Going with the British lab versus the American lab, like I'm noticing differences between the two. Uh, just personality wise, of course they're gonna be different, but um, I don't know, just temperament, everything about Nala. She's just a little bit slower paced, which is good. That's what I wanted. Cora's hot, hot, hot. So. I needed, I wanted something a little more dialed back, a little bit more obedient, a little more tuned into me. And I think that's what I got with the Southern Oak Kennels dog. So if you guys have a pup that you're wanting to train to be a duck dog, or even just train a house dog, and you want to know how to train an obedient house dog, Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy is the place to do it. So if you guys are interested, there is a link down below. It'll save you some money on your membership. You buy it once, you got it forever. So uh, if you guys want to invest in yourself and your dog or your future dogs, check out Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy. They give you a day-by-day, week-by-week outline on how to get uh, a little puppy like that all the way from that stage to where Core is at with advanced gun dog skills. And you can do it all by yourself. So let's go ahead and grab the place board and get to working with Nala and show you guys where she's at. Training gear wise, here's what we got. We got a lead, we've got a slip lead on her, and we've got a couple bumpers. This is the puppy bumper from Cornerstone Retriever Training Supply. So if you guys are interested in picking up any kind of gear, Retriever Training Supply is where I get all my stuff. There's a coupon code down below if you guys want to save a little bit of money. Uh, but we got a whistle, we got a lead, we got bumpers, we got puppy, and a place board. That's all we need right now, and that's all we're gonna need for a long time. So we're gonna get started here on the obedience stuff. We're gonna do a little bit of retrieving. Like we've done just kind of fun retrieves and we'll see how that goes this morning. We haven't really done any in the backyard. We kind of do them in a lane. Uh, I might need to grab the check cord to do that. So we're gonna just go ahead and roll into what I would consider just a combining all basic obedience session and show you guys where Nala's at. She's been a very fun dog to work with and she's been pretty snappy on picking things up. So, uh, oh, I've also got clicker and treats. We're at that stage too. We're getting close to where we're gonna be fading out the treats, uh, but we're doing everything we can to make sure all these behaviors are looking good. So let's see if we can start with some heel work. We're gonna just start off lead. I'm not gonna use the lead if I don't need to. Um, I don't know, I just feel like going off lead today. Now the heel. Good. So we're gonna start by just clicking and treating real quick. Just just to get her in the mode that, hey, we're, we're training now. I dropped a piece of kibble. It's okay. Tell you what, the second dog, if you're training it yourself, like with Cora, I would have worried about that. But with this dog, like I just know when to worry about stuff and when not to worry about it. No, heel. So now we're doing a little bit of a correction, heel. distracted by the place board. We gotta move this. Okay, we haven't done a whole lot of our training in the backyard. Good. And I think that's kind of distracting her because this is where she plays, not where she trains. So we're kind of generalizing a little bit. Okay, heel. All right. I don't like this off lead stuff. So we're gonna go on to on lead. Heel, 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 good. Good, good, now we're focusing in. Now we're focusing in, that's a good girl. That's a good girl, good. 
I'll tell you what guys, dog training is just, you gotta figure out how to adapt and improvise. Like right here, see all these sticks? That's where Cora and Nala chew on sticks in the, in the yard, heel. Good. Good. I'd say the biggest thing with this dog is that I'm taking my time with her. Nala, heel. She's four months old. We're still gonna make mistakes. We're not perfect, but we'll get there. Good heel. Good. Now I got the whistle and we're gonna do a little bit of whistle sit action. Good. That's one thing that I learned with Cora is super important is getting that whistle sit training done. Good girl. She does do this thing where she turns toward me, which at heel, you really don't want that. But I know with a whistle sit, I do want that. So I'm kind of letting it ride out. It's something I can fix later if I need to heel. Good girl. So we've got our little whistle sit. We're doing good at heel. Um, we could definitely work on our off lead heel. We just don't train in an area where, well, we can train back here, of course, but we don't train in an area where I can do a lot of off lead heel. So we're gonna stick with on lead and then, you know, build from there. All right, now the fun part. Let's do a little recall. She's tuned into me. She knows I got treats, so she might not leave. So yeah, she's in that, that heel mode still. <laughs> See, she's a good dog. I mean, she she learns fast. She was like trying to figure out what we were doing back here. I'm talking when we're training, that's different. We have a camera set up, that's different. And we're training in the backyard in the morning, which is very different. We don't do that. We train on my lunch break at work. So a lot of different things going on right now. Good, good, good. Hey, go play, go play, go play, go play. We might not get any good recall. See if she'll chase this stick. There you go. There you go. Nala, here. That a girl. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Yeah. Re I started recall early with her. Um, that was the one thing with Cora we really struggled with was recall. And so I started that early. Like I've learned so much from Cora where I'm able to apply that to Nala. So we've got. Heel work, we did whistle sits, we did recall. Now let's do a little send to place, which this is important because this is what we do when we are hunting. I will send her to her stand or her place board or her spot in the boat and she'll need to go there, sit down and stay. We've been working on this the most this past couple of weeks, so We'll see how this goes in the backyard. Here. Good girl. That's a good girl. Now the place. Perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. That's a good dog. That's such a good dog. Place. Now I'm gonna just do a little uh, extended place with her. I'm gonna walk around. And if she stays and is a good girl, she'll get rewarded. It's a good dog. That's a good dog. That's a good dog. Very nice. See, we're coming along. And I think my biggest mistake I made with Cora was rushing the process and trying to get her done by a specific date. It was like I picked her up in January and I said, I want her hunting by September. And that, my friends, is not the way to do it. I'm not gonna hunt her until she's at least two. So we're gonna take our time, work through training, and eventually get to the point where I'm comfortable to take her. So that's, a, that's kind of where we're at with basic obedience. We did send to place, some heel work, some recall. I mean, we're just setting the big foundation for everything. She's a fun dog to work with. She's really fun. She's got a little bit of spunk, um, but man, she listens so good. And I think that comes down to me knowing what I'm doing when training her not overdoing the sessions 
and getting those successful reps that we needed. So that's where she's at. Let's have a little bit of fun. Let's see if she can do some retrieves. I'm gonna start with the puppy bumper because no string. She's a big string puller and she's also a thief around the house. Like she will grab anything and everything. Just carry it, she doesn't chew it up. She just carries it around. So let's, uh, let's see if we can do a good setup. I might move over by the fence so then we have at least something on one side of us. This is a good spot right here. See how the, the deck kind of adds a barrier, the plant adds a barrier. We got like just a little bit of a lane here. Place board is very important. All right, uh, there you, go. you guys will be able to see that place. Nothing far a distance right now. We are just initiating that drive to retrieve, which this one's really fun to watch. So we might do a few too many retrieves on this, but I just wanted you guys to see where she's at with this retrieving process with no formal retrieve training. It's pretty fun. So she, it's like comparing apples and oranges to Cora and Nala. So here we go. Boop, 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 boop. I'm not worried about her sitting steady. I will make her sit though, sit. Nala. Had a girl, had a girl, had a girl. That's so good. That's so good, that's a good girl. You dropped it, but here you go. Take it back, take it back. Take it back, come on. Nope, we're not gonna do that. We're teething right now, so I don't know really how much she likes to do this. Sit. Nala. Had a girl, had a girl. Please. Mm. Good, there we go, good girl. That's a good girl, I dropped it, that's my fault. That's a good girl. All right, I'm gonna move the camera and see if you guys can get another view just in case I didn't get it that time. No, please. Good girl. I think we're doing good with this puppy bumper, so we're gonna stick to using this. Nala. She just flies with her feet. Come on, puppy. There you go. Good girl. Uh uh. Here. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Go play. Go play. Go play. So, like I said, I'm taking it really easy with Nala. I've got two years to get this done, and we're still progressing on the same timeline as 52 plus. Like, we're still following every single week. It's just I'm not rushing my way through it and training morning, evening, every single day. It's just like we're going out on my lunch break four times a week, and we're gonna just go work on some basic obedience. Now later on, when we get into retrieving stuff, that's gonna be a little different. We're gonna bump it up a notch, but right now, we're just setting a stage. She's a puppy. I mean, her attention span is really not that big right now at four months, and I'm not expecting her to go and do 60 yard marks at this age. So I'm happy with where she's at. I, I'm actually pretty stoked with how this session went because sometimes when I break the camera out, it just does not go as planned. So everything's looking really good. If you guys enjoyed these dog updates, let me know down in the comments. And uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. There's gonna be more Nala updates coming up once we get into more exciting stuff with all the retrieving and whatnot. But as far as obedience is concerned, we're almost through all of the obedience training. I'd say we've got probably about another month until we start doing any kind of uh, formal retrieving work. So. We're doing good, we're plugging along, and I'm excited to see where we go with Nala. But if you guys enjoyed it, leave me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one.